It's the capacity to recover quickly from difficulties. So one of my first questions was, what are your difficulties? What can you recognize and acknowledge those difficulties? Again, this is tough. Yes, I'm, I'm having trouble here, and I'm okay to admit I'm having trouble, and I need help with this. What I do, because sometimes with those difficulties, it's tough. If I'm in a funk, or if I'm trying to get out of it, what I do is I practice gratitude, and that could be anything on any level. It could be as simple as opening a door for somebody, or if you're going to go grocery shopping and the checkout person is there, you just, hey, uh, how's your day going? You know, just be overly nice, no matter how you're feeling. I've noticed that when you're practicing gratitude, it helps center yourself, excuse me, you'll sip the water. And along with that, about taking time for yourself, we talked about this earlier, it's okay to choose the pillows once in a while. And I say choose the pillows because that's what I do. There's times where I'm like, yeah, you know what, reality can just all burn to hell. I'm gonna dive into my pillows and surround myself. And Casey will walk in the bedroom, she's like, uh, I'm like, this is where I'm gonna exist for today. I'll be back tomorrow, please, I'm fine. <laughs> so it's okay to do that as long as you just get back up and you work hard at being grateful. And you gotta find what you're grateful for. It could be anything and everything. I, I didn't wanna get on here and talk about Sprelly and business specifically. I'm trying to, I'd love to be able to say this works for anybody in any situation, for anyone, anywhere. How patient are you? That's another big one. It, whatever you're doing at life, it's a marathon, you know? That instant gratification or, you know, I'm not opening up enough uh, stalls or I'm not baking enough things, and, you know, like, what? Oh, it's a marathon. What does the week, the month, the year look like? Something I like to do in practice with myself is I imagine a future version of myself thanking the current version of myself. So whatever troubles, whatever things are happening, I'm like, okay, the goal is going to be that. I'll be on a yacht one day, I know it. That dude is gonna go, hey, thanks for tough being tough during those moments years ago. Can you keep a great attitude? Uh, I like to say something, you can use empathic energy. So you put the good out, it's gonna come back. Put the bad out, that's gonna come back. You know, so if you put out the good, and when it comes back, you welcome it, enjoy it, love it, and keep putting out the good, because that becomes an exponential thing that others can latch on to. Be willing to humble yourself. Strive to become better by learning from others. So this kind of ties into the reinvention part when I talk about failure. If you're willing to humble yourself and say, I'm here to learn, I'm just here to learn, failure just goes away. It just isn't even a concept anymore. It's just, oh, I get to learn something new about myself today, and that's remarkable. 